Okay, continuity correction. Um, because this the normal curve is continuous, in other words, it doesn't deal with discrete data, it deals with continuous data, i.e. data that is measured, and potentially you could get um, uh, numbers like 3.415 with lots of decimal places. So it's continuous data, not counting numbers, i.e. discrete data. We have to um, consider rounding. And to illustrate this, um, I'm going to do a few examples from the text, page 362, exercise 1702. And I just want to point out to you a few key words that should trigger, hello, this is um, continuity, a continuity correction problem. We're in the question, the speed of a car is represented by, a random, by the random variable x. It is measured by a digital speedometer that reports the speed to the nearest kilometre per hour. Those words, to the nearest, signify some rounding has been done. And if you see those words in a problem to do with the normal distribution, you need to use this new, or need to consider rounding when you think about the limits. Write down the continuity correction required for each of the following. The first question has been done as an example. I just want to also draw the picture here. I can't draw the picture because I'm not told what the mean is or what the standard deviation is. So I'm actually going to draw do question number two, not question number one. Weight of pumpkins in pumpkin growing contest uh, record to the nearest kilogram. Again, to the nearest is there. So, hello, we've got a continuity correction. The weight, weights are normally distributed with a mean of 22, so that goes in the middle there, and a standard deviation of 3. A pumpkin is chosen at random. Calculate the probability that it's recorded weight exceeds 20. Previously to today, you would have put in 20 on your normal distribution curve and considered that area. But because the um, problem has been, it's been rounded to the nearest kilogram, we now have to think about does 19.5, if you weigh, if you weighed a pumpkin that weighed 19.5, would that exceed 20? Would that be, how would that be rounded? Okay, so that's the question. The probability that x exceeds 20. 19.5 would be rounded up to 20. But 19.5, does that exceed 20? It doesn't, does it? Does 21 kilograms exceed 20? Does 20.5 exceed 20? And the answer, yes, it does. Okay, so continuity correction means consider the rounding. And for this problem, rather than looking up 20 or the lower limit 20, we would consider x to be greater than 20.5. Okay, and that makes a small difference to the probability as opposed to typing in 20 kilograms. Okay, the answer is not so important here. You can figure that out yourselves. But let's just go back to um, question one because there's a few English words here that can throw you. First one's been done for you in question one. Sorry, a lot of you haven't got, haven't got the textbook in front of you, so I'll write the questions down as I go. probability that x is uh, less than 60 
remember this problem the speeds have been rounded to the nearest kilometre uh, kilometer per hour and if it's less than 60 it can't be 60 so the one that we actually would look at is less than 59.5 now think about that 59.5 actually rounds up to 60 doesn't it okay we don't get too worried about the that you don't use 59.45 just use 59.5 as a correction it makes a very little difference the 0 0.01 Look at the next one. Probability the speed is greater than 70. That translates to what? X is greater than what? 70.5? It can't be equal to 70, it has to be greater than 70. So there's a continuity correction there, 70.5. Next one, probability that speed is at least. Now this one confuses some people. Um, X is at least. These words here, at least... What would the correction be here? At the least, it's 55. Is 55 allowed? Yeah, 54.5 is the correction. So it's a greater than sign. 54.5, so that, that would be the minimum and the maximum obviously would be a large number. Um, here's another one. Probability x is no more than 65. No more than 65. What's the correction? No more. Could, let's ask ask the question. Could it be sixty five? Yeah. Is sixty five no more than sixty five? Yeah. So it could be sixty five. So. Okay, it is a little bit confusing, you do need to think about it. But 65 point, it could be up to there, and we would say that would be no more than 60. Oops. It's a 65. No more than 65. So you have to ask yourself the question a few times. This one, the next one reads, X is at most... Ah, <laughs> at most 80. At the most 80, what would that translate to? Could it be 80? So less than 80.5. And last one here, speed is between 40 and 75 inclusive. Forty and seventy-five inclusive as opposed to exclusive when the, those two numbers aren't included, these two numbers are included, inclusive.
What are the two numbers going to be now? Nope, not 14 seventy. You got to because it's been rounded to the nearest half a kilometres per hour. It could include thirty nine point five and seventy five point five. So we always deal with um, if it says rounded to the nearest unit, we deal with half of that unit. Okay, and it's a little insight into continuity corrections. Now, if it doesn't tell you how, if in the question it doesn't tell you how to round, you refer back to the method that you know that we just did in the starter. You don't worry about continuity correction. So that you're, you're basically, you're looking for the words, it's on my old slide, to the nearest. If it says to how it's rounded in the question, think continuity correction. If it doesn't talk about how the question was rounded, then ignore continuity, continuity correction.